Now, you guys will be shocked at the latest intrigue surrounding the birthday party. Mm, the birthday party that broke social media. In fact, some people said it broke the body of Christ. But I don't think anyone can break the body of Christ. You can only break yourself, break your, you know, business centers, break your, you know, all of that. Now, a banker in Nigeria passed away with his son and wife. He's not just an ordinary member of RCCG. No, we are talking about that billionaire that Pastor Ie Adeboye talked about. He said they had, maybe they still have, but one is gone. Mm. They had billionaires. We don't know how those guys got their billions, but let's just still call them billionaires as, as Pastor Ie Adeboye called them. He said billionaires. And some and full of millionaires meaning those ones have not uh, reached up the ladder of looting our economy directly or indirectly i'm not saying people cannot be blessed don't get me wrong now hubert wigwe late access bank ceo he passed away in the united states helicopter crash he used to be with his family a member of RCCG, City of David branch. In fact, in the whole of Nigeria, apart from Abuja, in the whole of Nigeria, City of David is the financial hub. I mean, when you talk about where big cash comes into RCCG, it comes from that particular branch, City of David. Maybe they have one or two or three others. But when you talk about City of David, it's it's a branch that a lot of people want to come to connect. Now, this gist, <laughs> this gist is called one in town. One in town. Now, Pastor and Mrs. Pastor and misses now the other day i did analysis about it some individual was saying oh you don't even know the difference uh, that the pastor and his wife does it make a difference if you understand redeems church package you will know that it is pastor mr and missus it makes no difference anyway so the wife of the pastor mm, the wife of the pastor She's also a pastor, like I said. She's the founder of Arise Women Foundation and Anne Maidens Women in Leadership. She's called Shiju Iluyomade. She got tongues wagging after her colorful sister's birthday on Sunday, February 18, 2024. She invited dignitaries. People came there. She invited Flavor to come and flavor them. Flavor was whining his waist. Is a guy for your information whining his ways. Pastor too was whining. Some people said, "Oh, the, hus uh, the husband of the pastor, uh, pastor Mrs. was not happy." Oh, story, story. Anyway, they did what they did, and social media came hard at them, saying, "At least you guys should have uh, pro postponed or toned down the birthday because of." The man that passed away, not just one person, wife and son, three people, three in one. These are people who pay salary of workers in your church. These are people who drop big tight, tight that prompted millionaires in RCCG to say, we want to see, we want to see the book. We want to see the account book to see what our money is doing. And Pastor Yadibo separated them. He said, billionaires and millionaires. <laughs> anyway, that is not what we want to talk about. Before we proceed, like and share, tap on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, turn on the notification bell. To encourage this channel to do more, tap on that thanks button, the one with the love icon and the dollar sign in the middle of it. Tap on it. Tap on it. So, as I was saying, <laughs> you know, there is something called church politics and there is also something called discipline. Discipline. Mm, discipline. 
you know, you cannot have a lawless ministry, but you know that discipline, you know, mm, it depends, right? So, lawyer, you know, I called her a lawyer at the beginning, and she's a lawyer. She's smart. She's not dumb. She knows what church is all about. I mean, not generally church, RCCG. She understands, she understands a lot about RCCG, and she also knows what RCCG is. I mean, some people call it business, and I'm not saying God has not uh, put smile on the faces of people there or bless people. Don't get me wrong, but I'm just telling you as it is. We cannot lie. If you like, you can say, oh, eh, eh, touch not my anointed. We are not touching anyone. We are saying it exactly how it is. It's the same way it is written in the Bible. Those that wrote it, you know, you cannot tell them, touch not my anointed because they wrote about Samson. And you say, oh, touch not my anointed. Why are you writing about the fall of Samson? Why are you? No, 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 no. All of this is to edify. All of this is to let us understand what we are. We are human beings at the end of the day. There's no one that is supernatural. There's no one that is so many potent, so many signs. There's no one that is in the realms of God or that of Jesus Christ or the Holy Spirit. We are all trying. We are human beings. Even your pastor, Gio, can go to hell. Anyone can end up in hell. Now, that being said, let us break it down. So, Pastor Iyadeboye requested... I'm using the word carefully. Okay, let us put it better. Ordered pastor and Mrs. <laughs> pastor, Mr. and Mrs. to step down from City of David. Now, this is coming from a reliable aprocosos, deep rooted in the church. Mm, mm. Step down now. They said, why? Ah, because of the party that you guys celebrated and the old media is like... But before then, prior to that, lawyer, Siju, she's not stupid. She's not dumb. She had already gotten legal backings and documentation and all of that to protect herself and her husband. Should politics up discipline you know imagine you've done a lot of work sweat and you've brought in billions into the ministry and all of a sudden something happens and they say ah, is our church you are disposable no they made sure that they are not disposable they already documented everything so when pastor Iadeboe ordered them to step down they told him step down from where from our bedroom living room or where he said from the church they said which church he said city of david they say hey okay come and take us down from the city of david it means that they can simply yank rccg off and retain city of david and call it the s cathedral <laughs> they can call it anything you know and people will still visit they will still come there uh, you might say, oh, people are coming to RCCG, not mm, go and look at the building. So they said, no problem. If you want to take your RCCG, take it. But this building, that is what they mean, belongs to us. We are the ones that worked it. They've already packaged documents protecting their interest. So Pastor Iadeboye, realizing that these people are not your ordinary member, it's not like the one uh, uh, Kena Land. Bishop David Oyedepo, you know, there is this uh, pastor, upcoming pastor in one of those villages. He had done what he did, tried what he did, and pastors sacked him. You know, they sacked a lot of pastors saying that they are not bringing in money. They didn't say they are not winning souls, though. They said they are not winning money in, that they must be sacked. And pastor said it on stage, like, they are not, you know, they have words that they have picked from the Bible. That they are not being viable, they are not uh, productive, they are not adding value. And they started talking about uh, Paul, Peter, talk about how the disciples talk about how the Christians and how they had their value and they had plenty and there was extra. You know, they know how to say all of these things. Mm, I'm not saying that a pastor should be swallowing everything, you know, eating it and not uh, doing the needful. But the thing is this, most of these churches are simply business centers. 
mm, they are simply business centers. Let us be sincere about it because it should be about winning of souls. How many souls did you win? Mm, since you know it's an upcoming ministry, like, I mean, the branch and those in that particular locality, they are not really rich. So the focus should have been on saving souls, isn't it? Let's leave that aside since we are not talking about uh, Bishop David Oyedekpo here. So, pastor called a man. You have to decode it yourself. There is this man that remarried in RCCG and then um, Pastor Ye Adeboy already, you know, disciplined him um, for remarrying. <laughs> remarrying. Uh, yeah, for remarrying. So, um, Pastor called this person and said, look, you are friends with this uh, uh, Siju slash City of David. Tell them that I don't want travel. <laughs> Tell them I don't want trouble. Well, that man already had his own, you know, grievance against Pastor Ye Adeboye. So, what he did was to choose the side that he wants to belong to. So, he simply put the phone on speaker in the presence of Siju, Iluyomade, and husband. Hear what Daddy Gio and Mommy Gio are saying <laughs> the one that they chased from freedom all you know those are branches of rccg if you know you know if you're a member of rccg you know what i'm talking about he was there now that he had boy did not know that baba kekere that was vice president before that he has offended him when that the ea adeboye was supporting a Milokon Bola Ahmed Tinubu previously, previously a Milokon. Don't forget that um, Tinubu's wife penetrated RCCG, became a deaconess because they had a long term plan. You see, the wife of a Milokon has contributed billions into that church. She's part of those billionaires in that church. Yeah. Talk about dialysis machine. She bought. These machines to be distributed. Mm. So the least they expected is for Ia Deboye to support them. But is the Milokon going to support Baba Kukuru or Tinumbu? Now, you see, Baba Kukuru or Baba Kekere is actually the one that wrote the you know legal packages for Siju and her husband. Pastor, Mr. and Mrs. He was the one that crafted, you know, he's a lawyer. Hmm. He had already done due diligence, covered all loopholes, everything in case he had a boy and wife and children wants to drag them to the court. Now, you know, back in those days, a lot of people thought that uh, Pastor Ia Deboye was fully in support of Baba Kukuru. You know, Baba Kukuru, the VP. Uh, the one that uh, Bola Metinumbu said that uh, he does not have any <laughs> any any son that will go against him this way. You know, Baba Kukuru, that was disgraced, that could not uh, win uh, the primaries. Uh -huh. So, uh, Baba Kukuru realized that uh, he had the boy was underground, under G. Don't forget that Baba understands a lot of things. He knows that Bola Metinumbu will not give room. And moreover... Bola Metunubu's wife, she has done more in that church, more than what Baba Kukuru can ever do. You see? So it's about highest giver. You don't play with billionaires, you know? Mm -hmm. So Baba Kukuru was underground, stylishly, you know, watching while Ia Deboye too was stylishly underground supporting a Miloko. Now, you guys need to pay attention to certain things. You might not be privy to some things. You see, when Daddy E.A. Adeboye started stylishly moving away from the vice president, there are certain utterances. Many of you will not understand what those utterances are about. You think, oh, he's just talking about the state of the nation. He started talking about the terrible government. Of course, we know that Baba Kukuru was not really... Um, there, there is less that he could do. They put him under the ground. Yes, we all know that Vice President couldn't do much. But at that period, 
Baba Kukuru was not happy. He felt like, ah, we are pastors. I'm a redeemer. We are in this together. I thought you are going to support me and throw all the weight behind me so that RCCG and everyone, don't forget that back then they created a department for politics in RCCG. Some of you might be going, no, it's not only about, come on, go and sit somewhere. It's not only about, there are other people that, of course, I'm not saying that Christians should not be part of politics. I'm only telling you what it is. Mm, wake up. Now, there is something about uh, certain, you know, ethnic groups. You know, when they say Jebu people, Ogun State, Jebu, you know, you have other tribes there, Ba, you have all of that. Now, where is the lawyer from? When you look at, when you look at the vice president, ex-vice president, Baba Kukuru, the short man, you know, they called him the short man devil. And the person that called him has joined APC now. Mm. Short man. The vice president, former vice president. When you look at him, does he look like someone who would like to give? Does he look like someone who would like to bring out? He doesn't look like someone who is open-handed. In fact, he's not dropping as heavy as the wife of this present president. Even before he became president. He wasn't dropping. He wasn't shaking the church. He didn't join the... The, the 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 trend of billionaires in rccg so they know how much tight is coming in and the man is simply paying tight from his wages but they don't want that mm, they don't want that no not at all so they looked at him they felt that he's an akagom he's not dropping imagine the vice president although this is what it's supposed to be if you're not a criminal but you know he had the boy he probably knows more that is like ah uh ah -uh, why is he acting like god's blessings are not coming in more than that it is coming in more than that now it is coming in how come he is now bringing one million naira to what to the house of god so you know the president and his wife they are rich and they understand a lot of things about human character and what you need to do to draw people closer and uh, they understand that proverb that when the mouth eats the eyes will close isn't it uh, they drew here they boy closer draw me closer closer to you and uh, they drew they drew him closer to their bank account so now this dialysis machine the way it was shared um there are certain people who were privy to this and um, they said no uh, why is this done this way? Why is he at the sharing this dialysis machine this way? Why did you skip the southeast? How come you shared um, less in the southwest and you took more to the north? Well, according to the info, the reason why this was so is because the, uh, the you know they say he who pays the piper to taste the tune, the person that paid for that bought and gave to he at the to RCCG gave instructions on where this dialysis machine should be taken to. They took more to the north because they needed Pastor Ia Deboye to help speak to certain people in the north so that a Milokon will actually become a Milokon. So let's go back to the issue of City of David. Like I told you, it's not an ordinary branch. So Ia Deboye told them to step down. Step down! Step down now! You must step down from City of David. And they said, step down from what? I don't know. Maybe he yeah, will say step down from my church or step down from our church or step down from RCCG. I don't know which or what particular um, step down uh, he directed it to. But those ones say, sorry, yo, are you talking about the church that we, me and my husband built with our uh, billionaires built? Do you know how much we took out of the bank loan? To build this church are you the one that signed for the loan eh baba let's go to court now then you will show how you how it is that you 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 own this church or the branch pastor are you the one that will pay the loan that we signed hmm now this case also according to the update can be likened to one pastor dutola uh, I think that one is a church not in Nigeria, outside of Nigeria. And um, when he was, also, when when they were also asked to step down, they said, "No, Pastor, come and pay the loan. Come and pay the loan." 
And you know that uh, most of these uh, headquarters, they don't like to pay. Say, come and pay the loan. Come and pay the loan. Even if I'm going to hand over, come and pay this loan because the loan is attached to my social security number, attached to my name, attached to everything that concerns me. So don't put that burden of that loan on me whilst you are telling me to step down. Come and pay the loan. Now, the information also is this, that uh, Leke Adeboye has a church and the name of that church is called The Bridge. And, you know, names are important. The Bridge, The Bridge of what? Okay, from the old to the young. Well, they said that this church is registered and it is solely for Leke E.A. Adeboye. Mm, it is solely for E.A. Adeboye. Should there be any controversy? He will lay claim and hold on to that church as his own. Now, these are what they told Pastor Ia Deboe. Like, you think you're smart? Like, you think we, we are dumb? Like, we are just servants in the vineyard of you? Like, servants in the vineyard of Ia Adeboe, RCCG? We all understand this thing. Nobody will first come. Not the person that came first. No, 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 no. It doesn't work that way. So, City of David, Trinity Towers. Hmm. There are a lot of, um, you know, human beings are the most difficult to deal with. I'm not saying that in church you will not have, you will not have, um, you know, dealing with people is not an easy thing. You, you are trying your best to keep together. Now, if this goes to the court, which I don't think uh, Pastor Yeh Adeboe will accept or allow, but if this goes to court, maybe the only thing he will do is just remove his hands from the punishment and discipline. Because if this is taken to the court, hmm. Trinity Towers. Trinity Towers. I don't know. Maybe members will now say, okay, um, you know what? It is possible for Pastor Yadeboy to say, you know what? Um, let us build another and put another pastor there. We believe that our members, the billionaires in that particular sector, will come to the new one. I'm going to send a new pastor there. Let Pastor Shiju continue with Trinity Towers. The thing is this, like I said, if they are to leave and yank off RCCG, it is about uh, followership. Many people are going to City of David or Trinity Towers, not because of Pastor Yeah Deboye. Of course, they want to be part of RCCG, but majority of them go because of the person in charge. So many billionaires might go with Pastor Siju, same way with what happened with Tony Rappo and many others. So, you need to understand this thing that it's not all that Pastor Yeh Adebo is saying that is keeping people there. I'm not saying that God's presence, let us not remove that aspect because some might say, oh, are you trying to say that God is not in RCCG? I don't know. I'm not talking about that. That is not what I'm talking about. What I'm saying is that these individuals are educated, they are learned, and they know their onions. So, it's not good. they are not just going to be a pushover. They already learned. They already knew. They, they saw they knew, they observed the trend, and they made sure that they protected themselves. Tony Rappu, a papa Pari, a papa family, and all of that. All of these people, all of these people, Itua, all of them, all of them, they still have their followers. It might not be as big as RCCG, but they are also breathing. The thing is that if this goes to the court, like I said, <laughs> if it goes to the court, you know, they already know. They already know how they want to process what they need to process. So if this goes to the court, it will only be RCCG by, you know, name of, but not really RCCG that took the loan. We are talking about billions. Trinity Towers cost a lot of money well you know daddy e. E. Adeboe is not a young man i'm not praying that i'm not praying for his demise but if daddy e. Adeboe is to buy a lot of things will surface things will happen i know they're also preparing that is how other people are also preparing they are not going to labor in the vineyard and not have their own apple oranges fruits they won't no, 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 no. You know, some people say your reward is in heaven. Ah. 
Okay, now let Ia the boy buy and let's see maybe his children. Maybe their reward is in heaven or they are not going to be rewarded here to continue the ministry. They will definitely. Don't forget that the original owners of Redeem, they are also waiting. There will be a lot of lawsuit. There will be a lot of, unless that Ia the boy finds a way to resolve some of these things to make sure uh, that uh, there is no conflict. And they said that they are going to hand over the church in Ibutemeta to them. I mean the original owners. That is how that is where you people started from. Go and take it. But the camp. <laughs> mm, a lot of things are going to happen. So pastors too who are educated. They are not also going to sit down and uh, pretend like ah it's okay. They will send us away. Maybe that kind of leke that opens his mouth like uh, like tap and behaves unruly acts like a jaguda acts like you know agbero talk the way he talks the way he behaves speaks like ah you know whenever he comes to speak he talks anyhow imagine if daddy what will happen next with such <laughs> well I don't know what your thoughts are as regards this one. Drop a comment, like, and share. See you guys in the next update.